Welcome back for another lesson in uh, my Ladybug Maze game. Today we're going to add a scoreboard. And uh, the scoreboard is going to be an actor. It's going to, when it, when it goes, it's going to be about right down here. So we're going to make the, the screen a little bit bigger to hold it. And so I'm going to do a new subclass. We're going to call this we're going to call this uh, scoreboard, and um, we're not going to put in an image because we're going to make the image when we do it. And so now we're going to open this up. Uh, so we we have a scoreboard class. Uh, uh, it's an actor, and the thing we're going to want to do is so we're going to want it to get to be the size of the world, and it's going to have to. Uh, know what the world it's in is. Um, Greenfoot has a useful method called added to world, which is, um, so you do it, you just say public void added to world, and then you say world w. Now the added to world, there are certain methods that already exist in the actor, right? Some of the methods, most of the methods you make are just going to be things that you made yourself, but uh, the act is one of them, and added to world is another that's already built into the actor. And in Java, Java this is called uh, overriding a method, which is basically right now the added to world doesn't really do much of anything. But um, what you're you want to do is say when I'm added to world to the world, you're going to do so that this method is going to automatically run when your actor is actually added to the world, not when the actor is created. And that's hard to get the actor is created before it gets added to the world that so um, there's a time after the actor is created but before it's added to the world when it doesn't have a world it doesn't know what the world is so we want to only get the world when um, we're added to the world so I'm going to say my world equals I'm going to say green world W now so W is the world we were added to right I'm assigning this my green world to this my world variable uh, and uh, of course I have to I'm typing it here because otherwise it's just going to be a regular world and we're not going to be able to do the things that a world uh, the, the methods that the world has which we're going to need and so now we're going to say what we want to say the width um, and so now we're going to say make a couple other variables we're going to do int width um, and then I'm going to do it height equals 60. Um, the height we're just going to hard code in there that's going to have a height of 60. Um, and then I'm going to say, so we already have uh, the my world method. It's going to be, well, I, it's going to be a uh, scoreboard, so I'm going to make a, a variable for the score, right? And that's all we need. Oh, and, and then we're going to have, an, this will we'll get to later, it's going to be the uh, board image. So the board image, this is, we'll get to in a little bit. This is the, this is the actual, we're going to make our own image for the, for, for this thing. So the Greenfoot image is just an image in, the Greenfoot's version of an image, an image that's attached to, attached to an actor or the world or anything. So we're going to make our own. We're going to draw it. So now, we, so we know our world is Green World W. So the width we want the width to be as high, wide as the world. So uh, it's going to. So what I'm going to do is say my world dot, and there one of the methods is get width. That's going to get the width of the world. Uh, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to create the image. So I'm going to say uh, board image equals new
So now what I'm doing, I'm making my own new image. I'm drawing my own new image in Greenfoot because Greenfoot can do that. So the width and height, this is going to basically tell me, this is going to, since this is our image, this is how big our actor is going to be. It's going to be as wide as the world is. It's going to be 60 pixels high. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so I'm going to set the color and, um, So color, this is, when I say color.black, you may not know what's happening right away. This is actually, color is a class, and built into it are some, a uh, bunch of pre-made colors. Colors are combinations of red, green, and blue. Uh, so you can do color.red, color.blue, color.white, um, a bunch of others. And, and so we're just making, we're setting the color to black. And then I'm going to say... So I'm going to do fill rect, and fill rect just means we're going to make a filled in rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be black because we set the color. So when I say set color, basically I'm setting the color that I'm drawing with here. So this is drawing, what I'm doing is drawing a rectangle that's going to be, in this case it's going to be 600 pixels wide and 60 pixels high. So now we're going to use the set image method. So we've created this image, but it's not our image yet. If I do set image, it's actually going to make that our image. So now that should be our image. We're not going to be able to see it yet because we haven't added this, but this was, uh, we haven't added this, but this was, um, this is going to be the image when we do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add it to the world. And so uh, I'm going to go in, I'm going to um, close this for a sec and I'm going to open the world. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually, we're going to make um, the scoreboard object. So we're making it a property. So this is a um, the scoreboard. It's um, we're just going to call it SB for scoreboard. We make it a property because we want it to stick around, right? We want to be able to do things with it, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and actually add it to the world. I can do it in various places, but I'll just do it in my uh, I'll just do it here in my constructor. So I'll say SB equals new, just in case you forgot what's happening, right? This just creates a space, a variable space where scoreboard can go. New scoreboard actually creates the object and puts it in there. And so now what we have to do is we actually have to um, put the board on the screen. So what we're going to want to do, so now we're going to add the scoreboard to the world. Um, so the scoreboard we know has a height of 60. I'm going to just hard code that into the world. This is not the best job of practice. The best job of practice would be for the world to ask the scoreboard how big it is and then set its width based on that. The problem is that the first thing you can you do that the world will ever do is create its size and it can't change it. Which is that's uh that's that's gonna that I, I know some tricks to get around that, but it would make the lesson about 20 minutes longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hard code in the 600. This is width of 600, height of now 460. So I'm basically adding uh, 60 pixels right down here, right? Um, and so you can see what's gonna happen when I do this. You see how I've added some extra space down here, right? So now I'm going to add in uh, the world here. So I'm going to do add object SB comma get width. And 
So we're going to get the width of the world divided by 2, and then that's going to be the X, so that's going to be placing it basically right in the middle of the screen, which means it'll extend to either end, since this is as wide as the world. And the height, uh, the X coordinate, I mean the Y coordinate, again, I'm just hard coding it. I'm just going to say I know this thing is going to be 60 pixels high, and that's just going to put that in there. And um, so when we do this, it'll actually add the scoreboard down here. And there's my scoreboard. That's where it's going to be. So now what we need to do is have the scoreboard display some scores. So next thing we're going to do is uh, let's make this board uh, start keeping and showing a score. So I'm going to close the world here, open up the scoreboard again. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an add score method. Um, so we're going to do public void add score int amount and I'll, so all this is just the method that's going to be called uh, when I want that the world's going to call when I want to add uh, a score to the scoreboard so and I'll say score plus equals amount uh, plus equals, if this, this is the same saying score equals score plus amount. Um, so that just means this is just going to increase the score by whatever the amount is. Now let's make a method that actually draws the score. So we're going to be using our same image. So So what I'm going to do is the score, the color is going to be red. So first, let's set our drawing color. Oops. Then what we're going to do is we want we need a font so. Um, the, the font is just the font that we're going to draw in. So, and so with the font, this is just how you set the font. And so the font is a class of object, basically. Um, it's, it's a, a font is a class, so we're making a, a what you call an anonymous font object, which means something we're not going to use again. And then we're setting the uh, draw, where for this image, we're setting the font that we're going to be drawing in. And now we're going to actually uh, so let's draw the actual score. So this is going to actually draw the score string um, at uh, 20 pixels right, 40 pixels down. And now, so we can, we want that really to basically happen every turn. And if we run, there's our score. Now we can see it. Obviously, right now, um, nothing's actually increasing the score. Or when the bug gets a aphid. Well, the bug isn't going to talk directly to the scoreboard. So what's going to happen is the bug is actually going to tell the world to tell the scoreboard to... Uh, add the score and there's a, a pretty good reason for that the world is sort of the organizing object that has everything in it and pro as much as possible we rather the rather the objects talk to each other through the world rather than talking directly to each other so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an add score method in the world as well And all that's going to do is tell the scoreboard to add the score. So
So this is going to take the amount, it's going to take the amount it gets, it's just going to pass that onto the scoreboard and tell it to add. And so now what we need to do is, we it's pretty easy, so now we just need to change it so that the bug, when if the bug uh, gets the, um, if the bug gets the aphid, it's going to tell the board to score. So there's different ways to do this. Um, let's make an eat bug method. Or eat aphid. Sorry. Let's say eat target since that's what we're really eating. It's it's really the target class. So um, we'll say target t equals get one intersecting object. So we're going to get a uh, object of the target class and um, oh sorry this should really say actor t I don't really need it to be actually sorry the the bug the error that I just had there just so you know um, get one intersecting object actually returns an object of the actor class not necessarily of the target class we know it's going to be of the target class but it's going to be returned as an actor we could turn it into a target class if we wanted to by typing it but it doesn't really matter because all we're going to do is just remove it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, if t not equal null So this means, again, if they're actually, so it basically, every time I run this, it's going to see if there is a bug, to, if there's an aphid touching it. If there it isn't, it'll be null, and this won't happen. If there is, this will actually happen. So um, hopefully we already have the world in here. Uh, we don't have the world in here, so I'm just going to, uh, add the world because we need to be able to talk to the world. So and we're going to do the same thing we did with the bug, which is to add, which is to uh, get the world when we're added to it. So And so we're, we're just going to say um, my world equals the reason we need to do this is we need the actual world. We need to actually uh, call you call the um, increase the add score method in the world. So we need to know what have the world is be to be a property in our object so we can do something with it. So now I can say my world dot and first first we'll just do um, remove object um, t. So first we're just removing the object and now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say and we're going to say add score and we'll just hard code the amount here. Let's just say five, right? Which is how many points a bug is worth. Um, we could actually later on actually have the bug uh, tell us how much it's worth, but uh, let's just do it this way for now. Let's just keep things simple. And so now we need to make sure that every turn we actually add uh, the score. So, I mean, eat, uh, eat the aphid if there, eat a target if there is. So in here, in our act method, how did I call it, eat target. So now, when we actually do this and we get, there we go. Now you see there's a little bit of a problem, which I, I left that in there knowing that was going to happen because otherwise you know, it makes it more clear why I'm doing this. You can see what's problem problem is, of course, it's writing the score over the uh, over where it was before, which of course is not very cool, but there's a pretty simple solution. Scoreboard method, and we're going to go to the uh, draw score method. 
And what we're going to do is we'll just every turn draw a black rectangle over the whole thing, right? So and we'll just repeat draw the image again. And breaking a little bit of DRY rules, um, don't repeat yourself because we're drawing, we're using the same code in two different places. But um, I just save the time and, and just leave it like this because right now it works fine. It should work fine. So now, so you'll see the score will increase and um, it won't draw over itself. And that's that's the that's this lesson. Next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to put our actual lives over here um, and uh, list that. And then, of course, we're going to put something that can actually eat us and take those lives. I'll see you then.